Hi, I'm Tom Jones, and welcome to another free art lesson. I want to take a few minutes uh, with you this morning, and I want to talk a little bit about creating a water's edge. Uh, I've got an example that off uh, to my right that I'm going to bring in and paint in here for you, but you'll notice that what I've done here is that I have a gentleman with a fishing pole, and uh, this exercise really started out to be uh, putting a figure in a particular painting in this case. And then I continued on and painted the tree area behind them and the grass area and the water. But more importantly, I wanted to show you how we create this water's edge here. You'll notice that the water appears to be coming in uh, in this area right up, edge, up to the edge of the uh, waters or the grass area. And then all of a sudden, it has this vertical plane to give you a look of where this particular grass area or bog area is much higher than the actual water itself. I'm going to show you an example uh, just how I do that. Let me set this aside and let me grab our, my particular uh, uh, painting that I've got set up for you. And I'm going to go ahead and take a moment for you and show you how I've created this. Now you may notice that right here, there doesn't appear to be any elevation between the grass and the water area. I want to show you exactly how we do that. It's done with what we call values or tonal values. In other words, there has to be a light value, a mid-tone value, and a dark uh, tone value in order to create the, the illusion of the water coming in this way to the water's edge and then all of a sudden having this large embankment here. So let me take a brush. I'm going to mix up basically some ultramarine blue deep, which is my, one of my dark blues, and then I'm going to take some of my hooker green deep and I'm going to add that color into the ultramarine blue deep. And I want to get a nice, rich, bluish green look to it so that it will be similar to the area that I've got here as far as color. And I'm simply going to come in at the water's edge and watch what I do. I'm simply going to take my brush and I'm going to pull that brush up like so, and that's going to create the look of a vertical plane right here. Now what I'm doing, and I say vertical, that's what's going straight up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come in here and do the same thing on this particular side over here just to give the illusion. And I'm going to work on this for just a moment and show you exactly how I do this. So this is creating that look of this particular edge. Now what I want to do at this point is I'm going to clean out my brush and I just have water on my brush at this point. I'm going to take this dark color and I'm going to pull it sort of to my what is my left and pull it out into where the water is and you'll notice all of a sudden that it looks like it's part of this area of the water with a shadow effect. Notice how I have this little reflection or shadow effect coming into the water area. But all of a sudden, I've got this vertical plane. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my brush with just a little bit of color, and I'm simply going to pull up away from me with the side of my brush. I'm going to pull up this grass area like so. And it'll give the illusion that there's sort of a tufted area there of grass. And notice all of a sudden, we've got this interesting look of where the water's edge is now. Just a little bit more, and we'll have it. Again, I'm gonna take just water on my brush, and I'll pull, I'm gonna pick up a little bit of my ultramarine blue deep at this point. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and I'm going to pull some of that color away from the edge of the, of the bank next to the water and just pull this color across the beginning or the front of this area. Let me pick up a little more hooker green, put that into my blue, a little more ultramarine blue deep. And I want this area where the water is here in the foreground a little darker than it is back in the middle ground or in the distance. And that will give me the illusion of distance in my painting. So I'm just painting in a little darker value here for the water and then all of a sudden, again, I've got this illusion that's created by a value change. You'll notice here, let me take a moment, mix up a little more color. You'll notice that I have a darker value here now than this value here. And this value is equally, not quite equally, but this is sort of a mid-tone, a dark tone, and a light tone. So the value change here is what's creating the illusion. I'm going to darken this just a little bit more for you. It's creating that illusion that there's a bank on this water right here. Now I'm going to take and do one other thing. You saw me take my brush and pull the color across to my left, again, to give me a, a look of uh, darker water here in the foreground and lighter in the distance. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of my dark color. I'm going to add a little more 
of my green into my ultramarine blue deep. And you'll notice here with this bank, what we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to bring some of this color down just to create an area where we have some contour going on, but more importantly, it's not all on a flat uh, plane here. We've got some areas that might be a little bit more in shadow. We'll take this area in here, we'll make this a little darker for you. And then we'll again, we'll pull some of that color down just to create the illusion that there's a lot of texture going on here in this grass and that it's not all on the same level. Gives you a little bit more realistic look to it. A little darker down in this corner, like so. And then all of a sudden, we've created this illusion of the water coming in and then an edge to the bank. And then it comes back up over the grass area here. And we've just created this a little illusion over here by just pulling some of this dark color down to where the bank starts here. Okay. Now that concludes this particular demonstration for you. I hope you've enjoyed this and have fun with this exercise in the future. I'm Tom Jones, and again, thank you for joining me.